So Dance is a plugin that um, was originally designed to, to eliminate noise, you know, projector noise and background vocal mics or, or that kind of thing. And, um, and you're using it real regularly, but you're using it for something totally different. Can you talk a bit about how you, how you put that to work? Yeah, I, uh, you know, putting a snare drum mic in between a snare drum and a hi-hat, you're always gonna have some of that hi-hat bleed. And same thing with tom mics, you know, depending on if you're using a condenser for uh, tom mics, like a 98 or uh, the Byers or something like that, uh, there's always gonna be kind of that inherent cymbal bleed. And then, you know, you run it through a PA and it's gonna get loud. And especially when you have a vocalist that's kind of wandering around the stage, you know, you're kind of getting that shifting phase reference of you know ambience um, and so isolating that has always been super important and a bit of a challenge too you know and there's the uh, 5045s and there's those sort of tools but uh, what i found really works well in these situations is the dance plugin and uh, sometimes you just gotta dance you know what i mean <laughs> so what i've done here is i've isolated some toms and uh, i'm gonna play this and uh, we're gonna do the learn function and just kind of walk through how i would typically set this up so how is this routed you've got this plugin on each individual tom channel or so what i did did actually and what I found worked a little easier was I grouped all of them so I have a Tom's group and this is inserted on the Tom's group so we're gonna sample the noise profile that's going to all of those and just use that as a kind of broadband correction so um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this here and what we'll do is we're gonna hit this learn button and this is gonna learn the noise profile cool and then we'll engage this. And we will crank the threshold down just a bit. Wow. We'll just sort of carve a little bit of that. And if you notice, that's ungated toms, and that's almost removing the cymbals entirely, and I haven't even turned a gate on yet. So we'll have kind of a double layer of insulation from cymbal and kind of generic bleed like that. And the same sort of situation works great on the snare as well. Uh, and you can get that hi-hat out really well. And uh, you can adjust your tightness here if you want it to kind of close a little bit quicker. It's an incredibly useful tool. I have the frequency range set between 315 hertz and 20K just to kind of grab that high-end stuff. Um, and it really gets some of the snare out as, as well. Oh, that's so, great. And yeah. it's important to know that that frequency range is where the plugin is taking effect. It's not Correct. cutting everything off below that Correct. low frequency. That's yeah. just where the plugin that's works. That's your window, yeah. Uh, it's a, it's an incredible tool and um, using it in the drum application has been really successful. Like I've noticed, and I've been able to use mics that maybe would have a little higher degree of cymbal bleed than others, you know, uh, but sound better. And so that kind of gives me a best of both worlds in that situation. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah, I know I've had a, I had an issue with the bass guitar, had a bit of a riz in it that we couldn't figure out mm -hmm. that just came up one day and, um, and used it to get rid of that, yeah. that buzz in the guitar and it, um, and it didn't affect the bass tone at all. It was yeah. like amazing. It's like no weird artifacts yeah. or anything, but yet it completely eliminated this mm -hmm. uh, this buzz. So it's a really flexible plugin. And very transparent too. I've noticed that, you know, it doesn't do a lot to the tone of the snare or the toms or something like that. So it's, it's a really laser precision tool um, that I found works really well in those applications. Yeah, that's great. Yeah.